Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that's trying to have a long no buy. And today is one of my shorter videos and one of my like presenting my new theme. I have started to do a lot of theme weeks and I think it's so fun and you seem to really like it and I had a theme week I think it was the week before this week. <laughs> I had my first Halloween week and I am planning on doing two Halloween weeks now in October. So I thought that I could talk about the palette that I'm thinking about using maybe next week. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying, like I can upload these videos whenever I want. So yeah, next week it will come a new theme week. And as I talked, about before I'm going to do a melt theme week because I do have five palettes from melt. I have four that is their holiday releases and they usually release their holiday releases around Halloween. So I have four of those and then I have another palette from melt and I'm First was my plan to use only the four Hall Halloween, the four um, limited edition palettes. But I actually think that I would use my fifth palette as well. So it will come five vi videos because I'm just in a roll apparently. So I'm going to show you the palettes I have from Melt, talk a little by, uh, talk a little bit about them, and just presenting my new theme. And if you don't want me to do these videos, just let me know, so I won't. But I think it's fun to talk about palettes, and I think it's f it's like a good... I don't know. It, it just I'm just going to show you the palette. So the palette I have that is not a holiday release from Melt is the Smoke Sessions. And this palette, like the theme of it, I just hate it. I... It's different between Sweden and the US and other countries in the world. Like weed isn't allowed in Sweden, not medical, not like at all. Um, and I just think it's... Uh, smoke weed if you want to, but like I, I don't get it. Um, so yeah, the smoke sessions. But this palette is like a grungy dream. This is so dark and it is just... It took a really long while for me before I bought it, but I have done some super cool looks with this one. It is though a little bit hard to work with and I think like all the shimmers aren't good. And that I think is a common thing when it comes to melt. It's like they don't really know what they are doing because some shadows are super amazing and some shadows are like what the hell is this am i trying to pick up an eyeshadow but i'm using my brush on a stone i don't know but yeah i think i will do some grungy look with a really dark red lip with this and i think that this will be like the first palette i'm using i do love the look of it i don't i hate the theme then I have the palettes for, this must be 2019, the Jesus, Joseph and Mary. I can't remember the name, but the Vida and Muerte palette. And I think like these were the super big thing. I remember how freaking popular these were and especially the Muerte. This one, people raved about these. I bought them. These were my fur, or did I buy the smoke session first? I can't remember. But yeah, the Vita palette, and I'm actually like a little bit of shamed how I don't use these. Um, this one looks like this, and this is the boring thing about this. I think it's this green shimmer that is so bad. It's like hard pen since the start. But like this shadows, because I I think it was in my first impression, I did a green eye and a reddish eye, if I'm not mistaken. I actually haven't used these colors at all. 
Um, but this is one of the palettes that is like really... Some shades are really good, <laughs> some shades are really bad. I do like the look out of it. I don't know why we, they did put these in here. But it's going to be fun to use this again. And I actually have no idea what I want to do with this. No idea at all. But it's going to be fun to finally use it again. But the Muerte was actually more popular and they restocked this one a couple of months ago. They were like, oh, we find some stock on this. Yeah, wait, you saved it. And this is the dark. Yeah, because Muerte is death and Vira is life. <laughs> this is the darker palette. And the problems I had with this is I think it's like too dark. And for me to say that the palette is too dark, that is strange. But yeah, I think I actually use this more than the Vita palette. With more means like three times instead of two. But it's going to be really, really fun to do something. Maybe I should like really do a deep dark look. It's actually like I have to check which looks that I've done with this palette because right now I cannot remember at all. I think I don't want to use these, but yeah. It's going to be fun to use this again and to see like, is it as good as people was raving about it? Or is it just, yeah, you know, like one of these unicorn palettes? Because with these palettes, like, the packaging was a home run like i love this i love that they are matching and the back is matching as well i love it then we have the holiday release from 2020 which year is it now 2022 yes and it was the beetle use and I love Beetlejuice. It's one of my favorite movies. I have loved it since I was a kid. I think the first time I saw it, I think I was... It was not uh, age appropriate for me, but who the hell cares? One of my best friends when I was little, we loved Beetlejuice. We watched it so many times. Uh, so when these came, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can't wait to buy them. So the first one is the waiting room and this is the reddish and gray palette and if you know me gray isn't my thing red that is my thing gray isn't my thing but i actually do stuff for like it so it will be fun to use this and see if i can do like maybe not a whole gray look but yeah, we'll see what I will do with this. I have no idea. And for I think that is kind of fun to go into a theme weeks and have no idea whatsoever what I want to do. But yeah, this is a dark grunt palette and I just I just love everything about these. And then the last palette is the recently deceased. And <laughs> like the front of this, amazing. The shadows, I'm a little bit afraid to tilt this because this shade, it broke, I don't know why, so it has fallen off some pieces out of it, so I'm a little bit afraid to hold this up. Um, when I used this the latest, I wasn't in love with purple. and. Me and pur purple, we are actually friends now. I did some purple looks a while back and like I was finding me and purple. Like we we are a thing now. So I think even though I like love this green, this is like this shimmery, grungy, dirty green that I just love. I might actually do a purple look. Or I will do the thing that I did in my first impression. I did two different eyes. So I did one green eye and one purple eye. But maybe I should just go full on purple with this. I don't know. It's going to be so fun to use these again. It's like I love... I think the packaging 
sold me more than like the color stories and I thought that like a Melt's holiday palette was going to be a thing that I would always buy but the holiday palette came out 2021 was the big palette that I can never remember the name of and I wasn't excited about that at all and this year I think it is like the science palette it was like water signs earth wind fire I don't know it feels like this was the holiday thing that people really loved about melt because nobody did this before now like makeup revolution do Beatles use I guess but before that nobody did use Beatles use um but yeah that is going to be my next theme and I think that will be all the Halloween themes that I will have this October and I do really hope that you will like the upcoming melt week melt Hel melt slash Halloween week and it's going to be fun to play with my melt palettes again because that is not a thing I do that often. So yeah, I really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!